Hi guys, welcome to TechBase. In this video, we're gonna talk about the topic of migrating Windows. So maybe you just got a new computer or just changed your storage from an HDD to an SSD and you want to migrate your Windows operating system without having to manually reinstall the operating system, manually reinstall all the apps and redo all the settings. Well, there's a thing that you can do which is called migrating Windows and this will basically migrate your Windows operating system fully with all the settings, apps and all of that from your old disk to your new disk with the ability to use it since the first second. So if you've ever wondered how you can do that or what tools you can use to do that, in this video I'm going to show you a tool that can help you do that very easily and with a very intuitive interface. Eases Disk Copy is a software that can help you clone your disks or even your Windows disks as we've talked about and it's going to make upgrading your hard drives and SSDs faster and easier. It can also be used as a way of creating a local backup so I think this is also pretty good. We're going to have more information about Eases Disk Copy in the description below but now let's go and check out the software and how you can use it if you want to migrate windows with this tool the software as you'll see has a very simple and intuitive interface and basically any user can use it with no issues in the left side we're gonna have all the main options of the software for example the disk mode the system mode the partition mode the emergency disk and also the network clone option now to explain the three top features the disk mode will help you clone a whole disk inside your operating system and that may contain multiple partitions the system System mode will help you migrate your operating system with no headaches and with a very safe platform and the partition mode will basically help you clone a partition. So of course one thing that you have to keep in mind is knowing your system architecture and knowing what you have on your system and for that you can just open up the file explorer go to this PC and check your partitions check maybe to see what's your operating system partition and what are your other partitions to see what partitions you want to migrate want to clone or even want to back up. Now talking about the process of migrating Windows. It is actually very simple. We're just going to have to go to the system mode and then of course the software will automatically detect the partition where you have your operating system installed on. In this case it also detected the version of our operating system which is Windows 11 and all we have to do now is to click on select a target disk and select our target disk. In this case I can select the disk one which is another disk that I have here. I'm going to select it and then click on select and then we can also see a preview of the partition layout if we have this enabled. Now let's click on next and here you can see the partition layout. As you can see, it being an OS disk, we also have other than the main partition, which has all our apps and so on, a few other small partitions, as you can see here, that contain all the recovery tools that Windows automatically creates, and all of those will be automatically created as well. I think that is also really nice, and as you can see, the same architecture will be created on the new disk. Also, you have some other options here. You can auto fit the disk, copy as the source, or edit the disk layout if you're not happy with it and of course if you have the space necessary to do that and to start the system migration process we're just going to have to click on proceed and of course pay attention the data that you'll have on the target disk will be erased so as the software says please ensure that you have selected the correct target disk and then click on continue to start which we're going to do right now of course it's going to calculate the estimated time remaining it being a windows partition and an os migration it's going to take some time depending on the size of it in this case it shouldn't take that long but if you have a one terabyte or two terabytes disk where you have your windows installed it could take up to half an hour an hour two hours or even more what's important is that you wait patiently for the process to be finished and at the end you're going to be able to use your newly migrated partition for example as i've said if you have a new computer and you upgraded your old storage from an agd to an ssd you can do that in this case as well very easily once the process is finished you're going to notice that the software will also also ask you if you want to boot from the cloned target disk and it can set it as the first boot device but in this case I'm just gonna select I will set the boot order myself later but you can select that if you want to do so and we also need to reboot now so that everything will be set with our newly cloned and migrated operating system let's click on reboot now and now for the restart you'll notice that the operating system will boot up from your selected choice in this case to boot up on the same OS but let's check out the other partition and see what things have happened here here, as you can see, we have a completely cloned disk here with basically two operating systems. Of course, we can play around with the boot order and then delete the old partition if we want. So as you saw, the process was very simple and Eases Disk Copy is very simple to use. And the same can be said about disk mode and partition mode. In partition mode, you can use basically the same process with system mode being the mode where we have to wait the longest because on all the other modes, it's just a more advanced backup. Now, to just quickly remind you, you also have 
have the emergency disk option that can allow you to create a bootable emergency USB to start a crash system and clone your data safely. And you can also choose to use a network clone, which can also help you batch clone for efficient system deployment. And of course, we have to input the information here. This is for a more advanced users or IT administrators, but for the normal users, I strongly recommend you use one of the options, disk mode, partition mode, or if you want to migrate your operating system, the system mode. Don't forget that all the information necessary about Isis disk copy will be in the description below. So this was the video for today. I hope you liked it. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.